Welcome viewers. In the first lecture of this series, I tried to give a general introduction about the vitamins. Presently, there are 13 compounds that are universally accepted as vitamins. These are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin C, and the B vitamins. Eight compounds are presently clubbed under the term B vitamins. They are vitamin B1 or thiamine, vitamin B2 or riboflavin, vitamin B3, niacin. Please note there is no vitamin B4, vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid, vitamin B6, pyridoxin, vitamin B7 biotin. Once again there is no vitamin B8. Vitamin B9 is folic acid. There is no vitamin B10, no vitamin B11 and vitamin B12 are the cobalamins. It's important to note that vitamins are classified broadly according to their solubility and the B vitamins are the water soluble vitamins. The question arrives why there are some gaps in the list of the B vitamins, meaning why there is no B4 or B8. Now the answer to this question is the fact that B vitamins were numbered according to the chronology of their discovery, which means vitamin B1 was the first B vitamin to be discovered. Then it was B2, then B3, and so on. Now, over the period of time, many compounds were claimed to be B vitamins, and the list extended at least up to B22. There were few more B vitamins that were named with a suffix like vitamin BM, vitamin BP, vitamin BT, vitamin BX, and so on. But later, it was found that either those compounds were closely related to an already existing vitamin or they did not strictly fit to the definition of the vitamins and hence they were omitted from the list leaving behind these gaps like B4, B8, B10, B11. Let us quickly go through that list. For example, vitamin B4 was adenine, it was a DNA metabolite and synthesized in the human body. So was vitamin B8 or adenylic acid, which is once again a nucleobase and it's not strictly a vitamin. Vitamin B10 was PABA or para-aminobenzoic acid, which is a neurotransmitter. Vitamin B13 was orotic acid, it's not a vitamin. B14 was a cell proliferation factor. It was discovered by Earl Norris and later on he himself withdrew its claim as a vitamin. B15 was pangamic acid. It's not a vitamin. B16 was dimethylglycine. B17 was some amygdalin. There is minimum literature about B18, B19, B21. B20 was claimed to be carnitin and B22 was some compound present in aloe vera extract. The B vitamins that came with suffix were BM which was a mouse factor used to denote inositol. BP was choline, BT was carnitin, BW was a type of biotin other than the biologically active D biotin and BX was once again para-aminobenzoic acid which was previously claimed as vitamin B10. <music> vitamin B1 is also called thymine. It has a molecular formula of C12, H17, Cl, N4, OS with a molecular weight of about 300. The food that are rich in vitamin B1 
include fortified bread, cereal, fish, lean meat, milk. And the RDA or the recommended dietary allowance is 1.2 milligram for males between age 19 to 70. Now, the term recommended dietary allowance is now referred in many literature as reference daily intake, meaning more or less the same. This 1.2 milligram means this much amount of thiamine is required every day in the diet of a human being so that thiamine deficiency diseases or symptoms don't crop up. Now the major deficiency disease of thiamine is beriberi. It is to be noted that beriberi at one point of time claimed millions of life on earth. There are three types of beriberi, the wet beriberi, the dry beriberi, and the infantile beriberi. The word beriberi comes from the Sinhalese word which means weak, weak, or I can't, I can't. The symptoms of dry beriberi includes gradual degeneration of the nerves, especially the long nerves that are present in the hands and the legs. There is concomitant atrophy of the muscles that are innervated by these nerves and loss of reflexes. Upon administration of thiamine, the disease conditions improve, but if there are irreversible damage that has already happened to the muscles and the nerves, then those irreversible damages are difficult to be repaired. Next is the wet beriberi. The wet beriberi is characterized by low cardiac output, abnormal heartbeat, edema, and finally cardiac failure. The world has faced two heart attack deaths. The first one was because of beriberi, which happened at around the last decade of the 19th century, where millions of Asian people died. This is because of the fact that at that time there was industrial revolution and the traditional method of dehusking of rice took place. The brown rice got changed by the rice mill into polished white rice and people didn't know that polishing the rice means removal of the outer dark coat which contained most of the vitamins of rice and beriberi claimed millions of life. The infantile beriberi affects the newborn babies who are breastfed by a mother with thiamine deficiency. The symptoms of infantile beriberi are no different from those of the wet and dry beriberi. However, upon administration of thiamine, the disease symptoms respond very promptly. The chemistry of vitamin B1. Thiamine is a colorless organosulfur compound. All animals require thiamine in their diet. However, Thiamine is produced only by plants, bacteria, and fungi. Hence, animals must procure thiamine from their diet. The phosphate derivatives of thiamine are biochemically very important. And among them, the most important one is the thiamine pyrophosphate or TPP. Thiamine pyrophosphate is used as a coenzyme for many biological reactions, especially in the catabolism of sugars and amino acids. These schemes show the involvement of thiamine pyrophosphate in important intermediary metabolic reactions. Pyruvate is a key compound of intermediary metabolism, which produces acetyl -CoA by the action of enzyme complex called PDH or the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. And thiamine pyrophosphate acts as a coenzyme for this complex. Another important reaction in which thiamine pyrophosphate is involved is the reaction of pyruvate decarboxylase where pyruvate 
produces acetaldehyde and carbon dioxide. Thiamine pyrophosphate is also involved in transketolase reactions where alkyl groups are transferred from one ketose to the other. Now it is important to look at the fate of pyruvate, a very important intermediary metabolic product in low TPP background. As we have seen that in low TPP condition, the PDH complex is functioning suboptimally, so is pyruvate decarboxylase. So in this background, another enzyme, the lactate dehydrogenase is upregulated, which forms lactic acid from pyruvate. And scientists believe that it is because of this increased cellular lactic acid concentration that is responsible for the neurological and cardiac manifestations of beriberi. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin, which has a chemical formula of C17, H20, N4O6 with a molecular weight of 376. Food rich in vitamin B2 include nuts, milk, cereal, egg, green leafy vegetables and lean meat. And the recommended dietary allowance is 1.3 milligram and the major deficiency disease is ariboflavinosis. Ariboflavinosis is characterized by sore throat, ankylosis and angular stromatitis meaning cracking of the lips and cracking at the two corner of the mouth cavity. There is also seboric dermatitis or pseudosyphilis which is characterized by moist scaly skins particularly affecting the scrotum. Riboflavin is the central component of the cofactors FAD and FMN that is flavin adenine dinucleotide and flavin mononucleotide. FAD and FMN serves as cofactor for a family of proteins known as the flavoenzymes. And these flavoenzymes are involved in a wide range of redox reactions. FAD and FMN also make fundamental component of the electron oxygen transport chain located in the inner mitochondrial membrane where ATPs are produced. If you look at the structure of FAD and FMN, we see that riboflavin contains an isoalloxazine ring structure attached to a sugar moiety called the D-ribitol. FMN is the phosphorylated derivative of riboflavin and when it is attached to an adenine nucleotide, it makes the FAD molecule. These three compounds, riboflavin, FAD and FMN are enzymatically interconvertible between each other through flavokinase, FAD pyrophosphorylase, pyrophosphatases and FMN phosphatases. If we look at the isoalloxazine ring structure of riboflavin, we see that this ring can exist in two forms, the oxidized form as well as the reduced form. In the reduced form, it can accept two hydrogen atoms and because of the ability to accept these hydrogen atoms, flavins can act as oxidizing agent in a variety of biological reactions. It is important to note that flavoproteins can also exhibit a wide range of redox potential and hence has the ability to take part in many biological reactions. The most important example of FAD in important biological reactions include the citric acid cycle. In citric acid cycle, succinate is converted to fumarate by the action of succinate dehydrogenase 
and FAD is a cofactor to the enzyme succinate dehydrogenase. If you look at the members of the electron oxygen transport chain located in the inner mitochondrial membrane where ATPs are produced, we see that FMN and FAD are important constituents of complex 1 and complex 2 of electron oxygen transport chain and hence these cofactors are very important in cellular energy production. There are many reactions where FAD is required and these reactions actually help other vitamins to become functional. For example, FAD is required for the production of pyridoxic acid from vitamin B6 or pyridoxal phosphate. FAD is also required to convert retinol or vitamin A to retinoic acid, the morphogen which is involved in general growth, development and differentiation of cells. FAD is also required as a cofactor for preparation of niacin or vitamin B3 from tryptophan, the amino acid. FAD is also required for synthesis of 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate, the active form of folic acid. Finally, FAD is important in production of reduced glutathione from its oxidized form. I think this explains why riboflavin deficiency is also accompanied by deficiency of many other vitamins. Vitamin B3 or niacin. Niacin has a chemical formula of C6H5NO2 with a molecular weight of 123. Foodstuff rich in niacin include dairy, poultry, fish, lean meat, nuts and eggs and the recommended dietary allowance is 16 mg and the major deficiency disease is pellagra. Pellagra is classically described as the disease of four Ds, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia and finally death. A more comprehensive list of symptoms of pellagra include aggression, dilution, inflamed mucous membrane, mental confusion, dilated cardiomyopathy, alopecia, edema and high sensitivity to sunlight. NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and NADP nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate are the two coenzymes that are produced from niacin. The difference between NAD and NADP is a phosphate that is attached to NADP at the carbon 2 of the ribose sugar of the adenine nucleotide. This reaction is catalyzed by NAD kinase in presence of ATP. Niacin is one of the five vitamins that are associated with pandemic deficiency disease. The other four are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C and vitamin B1 or thiamine. There are two vitamins of vitamin B3, the niacin and the nicotinamide. Both of them are convertible to NAD and NADP in vivo. NAD and NADP acts as coenzymes for many dehydrogenase reactions in the biological system. There are at least 375 enzymes that use NAD as its coenzymes and there are more than 400 enzymes that use NADP as its coenzymes. Let's look at some of the examples and we go back to the TCA cycle once again. In TCA cycle, isocitrate is converted to alpha ketoglutarate by the action of isocitrate dehydrogenase which uses NAD as its coenzyme. 
alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl coa the reaction is catalyzed by alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase which once again uses nad as its coenzyme the third important reaction of citric acid cycle where malate is converted to oxaloacetate once again nad is required as a coenzyme for this reaction in the plant system in photosynthesis the kelvin cycle there is also involvement of nadp vitamin b5 or pantothenic acid it has a molecular formula of c9 h17 no5 with a molecular weight of 219 food stuff rich in vitamin b5 include fortified bread eggs nuts meat and fruits like avocado and banana and the recommended dietary allowance is 5 mg the major deficiency disease is paresthesia paresthesia refers to the prickling or burning sensation mostly felt at the feet the leg the palm or the hand and apparently because of no physical cause perhaps we all have felt this type of sensation if we sit on chairs for long time sometimes we feel a numbness at our feet this is because of low blood supply to the sciatic nerve and to the muscles but if we stand up for some time the blood circulation restores and the sensation goes away but in paresthesia these sensations come because of apparently no physical cause and without any prior notice the important coenzyme that is formed from pantothenic acid is called coenzyme a or simply coa only the d form of pantothenic acid that is the dextro rotatory form of pantothenic acid is biologically active the levo rotatory isomer is not only biologically inactive but if it is present it can antagonize the effect of the biologically active d isomer coenzyme a inside human body can form acetyl coenzyme a and other related compounds and this is how coenzyme a actually transport carbon atoms between different molecules inside human body acetyl coa really holds a pivotal position in intermediary metabolism coenzyme a is also important in synthesis of several biologically important macromolecules like fatty acid cholesterol and the neurotransmitter acetylcholine if we look at the reactions where acetyl coa or coenzyme a take a part we go back to the tca cycle again we see that the first step of tca cycle where oxaloacetate combines with acetyl coa to form citrate by the action of the enzyme citrate synthase acetyl coa is an important component when alpha ketoglutarate is converted to succinyl coa by the action of alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex coenzyme a plays an important role this brings us to the concluding section of this lecture and these are the take home messages eight compounds are considered as the b vitamins they are vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 and b12 the b vitamins were numbered according to the chronology of their discovery the missing b vitamins that means the b4 b8 b10 were once claimed to be b vitamins but later it was found that they do not fit strictly into the definition of vitamins hence there was a gap in the list of the numbers of b vitamins most of the b vitamins form coenzymes and cofactors of enzymes that are involved in intermediary metabolism 
TPP or thiamine pyrophosphate is the important coenzyme form of thiamine or vitamin B1. FAD and FMN that is flavin adenine dinucleotide and flavin mononucleotide are the important cofactors that are formed from riboflavin or vitamin B2. NAD and NADP, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate are the coenzyme forms of niacin or vitamin B3. And finally, coenzyme A is the biologically active form of vitamin B5 called the pantothenic acid. Thank you. <music>